All right, hello everyone. Today we're going to work on a project known as Back Stair Steps. As you can see, I've already pre-purchased all our equipment. We have our blocks in place ready to go. Of course, since I haven't leveled the ground, this was just initially to get us started so we can see what it's going to basically look like. Our tools today are a camp, a shovel, spade point, that means it comes to a nice sharp point on the end, and a level. That's going to help you level. What we currently have is not level land. So our first maneuver is to remove the bricks. My honey bun is going to just videotape me removing all the bricks for a while. It's going to take a little while, so we'll do this and then we'll have to fast forward it for you as I do it. I'm going to do you want me to didn't help? You can pause it, honey, and run upstairs and grab, I think it's on the desk, or it might be in the closet. So you can find that thick packet that was the instruction packet. So what I'm doing here is, I'm basically, I'm digging out so that we go down one full inch or a little bit more, it's fine too. And you'll realize once you start to go down one full inch, deeper, about right there is where we want to hit it. I basically want it to be about like that. So Not like that. Big rock pops in there. It's not a truffle. That's right, it's not a truffle. Now here's the bad thing, here's the bad news. You build that thing up the where you think you got it and if it's too high, it's a lot of work trying to do it, so it's better to be a little bit lower. See, now I'm doing a camp job and I'm almost pushing it. You don't need to dig up all the grass in the surrounding area of where you're doing your work. You just need it right over where the bricks are going to lie. This is a 10 by 10 camp, which means it's 10 inches by 10 inches. That's 250 millimeters by 250 millimeters for my metric folks out there. Are you recording? Yeah. Good. Want it nice and level, and you want to keep checking your your leveling. 
glue right on but could be a little bit lower down there and then I do it I do a one top here looks really good if I was just a hair lower so here's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna come up and I'm gonna do a once over real light tap Then it knows I mean business right there, you know. The more you can't, but the more it gets solid in there, you know. That that's what you want. That's the key. You want it. You want yourself solid. So, what that's telling me is just a little, a little high in the center, and we're going to drive it out. I have a slight angle. This would be over exaggerating, pushing it out. <laughs> and that way, that way, I push my pea gravel outward. And it naturally will just push against itself. You can see the riser that I'm making. You see that riser, honey? Yep. You always want a good riser. Okay, and we want to solidify it back into itself. See how that cooks up. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, I'm actually a little high on this end, which is better than being low, which is what we were before. So I grabbed a little level. Gotta clean it off because I got it dirty. Put a little spitty in there. <laughs> daddy, daddy. <laughs> now you can see it. Right on level. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Going outbound, it seems like it's coming down still. So, not good. But here's how we're gonna fix it. We know we got the right level that we want. We're gonna start installing bricks. And if we need to add a little bit, we can always come back in and add some. It's hard to take it away. We can level measure the bricks with the leveler too. Right. All right, let's start. First layer. Don't want to walk my stuff too much. Level one, start over. It'd be cool if we had a tripod, then you could just set the phone on the tripod and yeah. work on. All right, level one. Do you need the cement glue? No, not yet. We can do that at the very end. Sometimes they say glue in between. You want to put your most beat up side on the inside for the customer not to ever see it. All right, that's our number one brick. Now, if I have a really ugly brick, I can totally hide it. Let's 
could be it. Hey, look around, see if you find ones that have really busted up edges on all sides. Those are the center. This one looks pretty this bad. This one's down terrible. Here. Yeah, this one's real bad. So no one's gonna see in your dead center, okay? Very critical that you put it so it's close to the surface. Now I'm seeing a little bit of riser activity, so I can't put together. You can use a rubber mallet too, that might be yeah, more ideal. All right, now one for the end. See how the edges are crisp? Or the customer might see. Ooh, too high. Because I didn't dig out enough. So, like my wife sh said, should have dug out more. So we're going to just go ahead and dig ourselves a little bit. Thanks for giving me a little credit there, Honeybun. Oh, look at the bugs. Don't worry about the bugs, I just videotape. Yeah, be careful about, about it too, because once you get this first layer, you're fine, you know? You don't have to do any more. You got it, where's that bucket at? Behind you. You get the first layer, you're, you're golden. Get all that grass out of there. You're golden. Golden. <laughs> all right. Looks like I may even need to trim it more. Right. Pick the right side. Critical. Oops, can you get that? Yeah. Awesome. Now I get my level. Well, I see it's the center block. It needs to be well away from the house for some reason. I just pulled him out. Now they're straight and level. Beautiful. Dead on leveling. This one feels like it could be lifted up a little bit. Between these two guys, they're level. Between these two guys, yep, so this one needs possibly a little gravel. That's why we got our gravel bag. Might as well use it up. I you see we killed the grass, but we didn't leave on too long after a couple weeks. It might bring it right back because that's the high grass area. Now, I don't want this to go all over the place. So I stabilized my bag. Here's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna make one hole stabilized. Just carefully get the granules in that we need. You don't need much. Some handfuls of pea gravel. Okay, I'm gonna make sure. Now, don't want to hit it too hard because you could break it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. 
very close, just a hair off, but we'll be okay with that. Hair off on that side when they're combined, they're perfect. So, that just means this guy probably needs a little bit more help. Mm-hmm. Obviously you don't want your arrow on top, but this will give me a little bit of a spacer so it doesn't go back against the wall mm -hmm. if it needs to be. Good idea. What well, is is known as your local frosting movement. <laughs> so you see now it won't go up against the wall. And that's what I need because I need it to be level. A little graveling. Can't do that once you get it built. If you pack it out now, just fine. And it has to be level, it can't be sitting up off. Alright, the next block won't go in too good. go. Alright, we're ready for the next one. Now I messed it up a little, so I'm going to just do a local tamp. Local tamp just means light duty smoothing. Alright, now what's our next layer? It's, uh, there you go. All right, next layer is two on the ends. There are two mm -hmm. little guys. These guys. These are always going to be totally hidden, so we don't care too much. Do you put them. four of those in the center? Yep. Okay. You can see a little high, so I'm going to just sweep it back a little bit because you know it slopes down, so it'd be better to sweep the gravel back, and you can't sweep it forward anyway, so. Now I swept too much, so sweep a little bit. This is where you really need to nail it. And it's just kind of babying it until you get there. Looking good. Of course, it looks like it needs a open hand. A little high. Nice, one big, one big hurrah. Okay. That looks good. One big hurrah. That's oh, perfect. Yep. That one's a little high. Alright. Let's find our next choice block. It's probably going to be this. Honey, I love you a whole bunch. I love you. You're doing really awesome. Then I lay them in like that. Beautiful. Now, I want to make sure that we're coming flat. It's one big hurrah. hard if you crack the block. Yeah. You don't want to crack it. You want our leveler. So, pretty good. If you want to zoom that camera in over here on this leveling. So it's not quite there. 
you look at the bubble. So here's what I'm going to do. Step that. Just give it some tap until it gets there. Now this one's got to take a little more. One more feeding. That looks pretty good. It's really good. Now you notice again I I dug in too much. Okay, what's the next one, honey? You need um, two big ones down the center. So, two down the center. Now, these, here's what we want to do. We want to start finding all the ones that aren't going to be seen. Good ones versus bad. This thing's medium. It's a really good one. This one's junk. Hi there. Medium. What I'm looking for are my edges that can be seen. So there's a lot of edges chewed up like this on all sides, or like this, on all sides. It doesn't look as good. A little bit of chew up's okay. Or this here is severely deteriorated on the inside. So is it this one? Oh, uh, I would do this. Sunny. But what's the next one? I was thinking you meant the center, like right here. Okay. For the center area. Okay. See, it's way high. So. Okay. Doing good. Okay. I need some more junk ones. No one cares. our levelness now. Overall good. Overall good. Check in many areas. Good. Real good. And this one. Very good. Okay. Well now we need some more junk ones. Get a couple in here. Do you want to go over how you added, um, like you did 1.5 times the length of the oh, instructions? Yeah. The instructions call for a, I think the instructions call for a 36 inch and we're making a 48 inch. -er. I'm just looking for bad, all gooey looking bricks for the insides. They don't they end up not being so nice. And we know right away we're like, oh boy. Now I'm not doing a real hard hit. And nothing's keeping it pressurized, just gravel. So I'm just pounding it in until it reaches that levelness. Kind of like a rubber mallet would. Keep them even. Okay, looking sharp. Real smooth and flat, that's beautiful. Yes, sir, we got it looking good. Okay. 
Now I'm seeing where we may need to cut back a little, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. That looks okay. So I'm gonna, I can see already where. Yeah. Save the pie before you eat it. <laughs> Doesn't even make like sense. it's hairy or something. Slice the pie. Once it, the critical step is really getting this foundational base down. Once you get that in place, you're really good to go. This one would be good right on the edge. You get one that we can hide. You get ugly on the inner race. Now I think it says we want it how many on level one? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We're gonna have to go one more and that's why. Yeah. We just left it. Let's see how that's initially. Initially, we got obvious problems. So let's tamp it down and see see how good we can make it look. Is it just the center that's high? Yeah. do this during the day where neighbors aren't calling the cops because you're making so much noise camping. Alright. It's a good workout. Oh look at how level that is. Yeah wow. Look how smooth and level. Could come up just a little bit on then. So, you wanna put some gravel in? Yeah, let's put a little gravel down. That's an easy deal. My dudes, I again reach into my gravel bag like it's chocolate. That now even pull my some tight. There we go. Looking good. You know what? Let's get some glue on it, some of them right now. Okay. Where's the glue? On the table, and then Wait. is your caulking. Next part is your caulking and glue. You want to keep your caulking glue so it's cleaned up, and you're going to go into these cracks. I got a pretty good level system. If you look here, everything looks pretty, pretty level. Right on. You measuring multiple areas, make sure you got a good level system going on. Boom. That's just the hair off, but you know what, with the more bricks you add, since they're overlapping each other, they'll be fine. So, what I'm going to do now is squirt a little bit of glue 
into my cracked areas just a little bit and what's going to happen with that it's going to hold the blocks there Ooh. now it looks a little messy you don't want it to be ugly looking yeah you want it to do its job Not wobbly. Nobody wants to get onto some blocks that are wobbling, okay? I'm just gonna. I don't want it. It goes on the grass, no big deal. Here's what I do. It's not an eyesore. It's obviously gonna be great, honey. So it's not an eyesore. It's kind of. Now, I know I got on my glove, but the thing with that is a little bit of white paint come right off. These are junk gloves anyway. Alright, so we got three layers. Now we need to do layer four. One. Okay. See how no one sees certain areas. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where's the glue? Where's the cock? It's in the bucket. 